Welcome back to Airborne Productions. One of the most common questions we get about this greenhouse is how much did it cost to put it all together? In all, it costed about $1,820. Now, if you're looking to get started on a greenhouse, know that it won't necessarily cost you that much unless you buy everything that we bought because there are quite a few little things that aren't completely necessary. So here's our spreadsheet. I have every single item out and the total right there. At the very bottom, we have our four items that would incur running costs, but we'll talk about that later. Now, if you notice, there's things like the greenhouse itself. So we bought the Harbor Freight one. And it's 600 uh, brand new, but you could always use the 20% coupon that immediately takes 100 something bucks off of it. Or you could build your own greenhouse that could take quite a bit off that $600 cost. The concrete foundation we poured wasn't really necessary. You could use wood or you could even use the frame the Harbor Freight gives you. But we wanted something a little sturdier. The cinder blocks and wood weren't absolutely necessary either. I suppose you could use really anything to make shelving. And the automatic vent openers aren't absolutely necessary either, but they are a big help. But there's a hundred bucks right there. The fan and thermostat, again, it just depends on how you want to regulate your temperatures, but there's over 200 bucks there. And the gravel that we used for our flooring isn't a necessity either. So just by removing those few items that I've named, we could have saved about $700 off the total cost of this greenhouse. But remember, you have to have a way to properly regulate your temperature. And that's why we bought things like the automatic roof opener and the fan and thermostat. I mean, that helps us keep this temperature pretty constant. By the way, everything that you see here was either bought at Home Depot or Lowe's or it was bought online. So if you see something that you like, go ahead and head to the description because all of our product links will be down there. So the idea of regulating temps is pretty straightforward, right? You don't want it too hot or too cold. So that's why we have our, our fan and our vents. Let's talk about the fan real quick. Super simple. Uh, it's a multi-speed fan. You can obviously set it off, which turns it off. But then from there you have high, medium, and low. Super straightforward. You turn it on, little doors up front open. We leave ours set to low, which is probably plenty fine, but if it gets really hot, we'll turn it up to medium or high just to get that air circulating. Connected to the fan is that box right there. That's a thermostat. So basically we have it set so that the fan only turns on at a certain temperature. That way the fan's not continuously blowing. It gets too hot, the fan kicks on, cools down. Now the other ones I've talked about quite a bit, but that's the automatic guys. So really straightforward. Basically it has a temperature sensitive ram that extends out when it gets too hot inside the greenhouse. That opens up the vents, lets air circulate. Then when they cool down, they contract and that closes up the vents. It depends on what sunlight is happening because that'll change the internal temperature of the greenhouse. But we found that outside when it's around, I don't know, 70 degrees or so, it's usually starting to open up. Um, Middle of a summer day, yeah, they're wide open, and on a cool night, they're shut tight. So it really does work pretty well. Another simple tool that helps us run this thing is our pump timer. And it's pretty simple, it's like 20 bucks online. All you do is set your on time and your off time. I mean, say I wanted to run my pump for 30 minutes and then I wanted my pump to sit off for an hour. I just made that up right now so don't follow that, that's not advice. What you do is set that top knob which controls how long it's on for 30 minutes. Set the bottom knob, controls how long it's off, set that for an hour. And all it does is repeats that cycle over and over and over. So lastly I wanna talk about the running costs. So this is where it could vary quite a bit. So we use Farmer's Pride Organic Nutrients, their three nutrient blend. We buy them per gallon. So it's not too expensive, I think it's about 70 or 75 bucks for the three of them combined. And the set of three of those will last us for quite a few months. Uh, the next big cost would be the cost of the plants themselves. We usually start with plants that are already growing. Uh, we found with seeds, we don't usually get the best results. But once the plants have already grown a little bit, we find that they just take off. And the cost of that can vary depending on what you're buying. Um, everything that we use is organic, the plants, the nutrients, everything. So ours will definitely cost more than somebody who isn't going organic. The last two costs would be water and power. 
And I don't really know how much that exactly costs. It's hard to put an exact number on it, but it's really not that much. It's pretty insignificant, especially compared to the other costs. So honestly, I wouldn't even worry about that. So the big question is, is this thing worth it? Well, that depends. Uh, do you want the convenience of being able to grow and pick your own veggies and fruits at any time? Do you want a setup that's pretty straightforward to maintain and has great growth and results? Do you want a fun project to build? Uh, to us, it's absolutely worth it. We really love this thing. It's a whole lot of fun and pretty convenient uh, to be able to pick your own stuff. And some of the harvests that we've seen have been really awesome. But in any case, thank you for watching. We have quite a few other videos on this greenhouse and our setup showing a little bit of how we built it and uh, how we break down our buckets. So if you're interested in that, go check out our other stuff. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one.